So, today's class. So, in this class, we are going to know about rational numbers, irrational numbers, and their differences. Along with that, what type of numbers will come under rational and under irrational numbers? Already in previous class, uh, we go on to the definitions of uh, rational and uh, irrational numbers. But one more time, we will revive. Yes, rational numbers. Rational numbers are nothing but the numbers which can be written in the form of P by Q. Which can be written in the form of P by Q, where the condition here, so P and Q belongs to Z. They should be integers, positive, negative, zero, whatever they are. They should be integers. And the condition, one more important condition here is, so here, if you observe this form, P by Q form, the term P is in numerator, Q is in denominator. This denominator, Q, should not be 0, should not be 0. Means, so rational numbers are the numbers which can be written in the form of, which can be expressed which are possible to write in the form of P by Q. P by Q is nothing but a fraction form. Fraction form. That means not only the numbers which can be written in the form of P by Q, which are already in the form of P by Q also comes under these rational numbers. So rational numbers are a group of numbers which are in the form of a fraction that is a P by Q form and which are possible to write in the form of P by Q, which are possible to express in the form of P by Q or called rational numbers. And there are few numbers which are not possible to write as a fraction, which are not possible to write as a fraction that is in P by Q form. So P by Q form is not possible to express in the form of P by Q. They are called as irrational numbers irrational numbers means the numbers which can be written in the form of p by q are rational and which cannot be written in the form of p by q are called irrational numbers are called irrational numbers clearly mentioned in here so this p and q that is numerator and denominator should be belongs to z z means integers they should be compulsorily they should be integers right and the q should not be zero the denominator should not be zero so this is the main difference between the rational and irrational numbers now let's go further <coughs> so what type of numbers will come under this rational and under this irrational numbers so if you come to this rational part if you come to the rational part first zero zero is a rational number the second one natural numbers all the natural numbers are rational numbers next and all the whole numbers are rational numbers integers are also rational numbers fractions are also rational numbers Six. terminating decimals terminating decimals non terminating non terminating recurring decimals or repeating or repeating decimals. So all these type of groups of are the sets of numbers which comes under this rational numbers. So here we also clearly so this fractions fractions so as you know fraction fraction consists of 
a numerator and a denominator. Numerator and denominator. If you observe these fractions, fractions already in the form of p by q. They are in the form of p by q. Means already they are in the form of p by q. That means numerator and denominator already they exist. Again, no need to write in the form of p by q because already they are in the form of p by q. But these other numbers, these other numbers, we can express. We can express or we can write in the form of p by q. We can write in the form of p by q. So, for example, if you observe zero, zero we can write as zero by one, zero by two, zero by three, zero by four, zero by five, zero by six, zero by seven, and so on. So, if you observe this zero by seven, already about the definition we clearly mentioned that. Denominator should not be zero. Only the denominator should not be zero. But numerator may no problem at all. So zero can be written as a fraction form. So it's a rational number. While come to the natural numbers. For example, if you consider natural number four, four we can write as four by one or eight by two. Like so many ways we have, right? So they comes under <coughs> rational numbers. If you consider whole numbers, already consists its combination of zero and natural so this can be expressed and it is as it is as because they, they consist of natural numbers zero and negatives of natural numbers also so the numerator and denominator can take negative also because here we mentioned here p and q should belongs to z they may be positive or negative whatever it is so they are comes under here and fractions already they are in the form of p by q so they are also rational numbers but while come to the decimals while come to the decimals only two types of decimals only two types of decimals will comes under this rational numbers it comes under this rational numbers let's go for the examples let's go for examples of terminating decimals already we discussed in previous class terminating decimals are nothing but so the number of digits existing in the decimal part of a decimal in the decimal part of a decimal terminates terminates means has finite means if there are a countable number or a limited number of digits in the decimal part of a decimal then it is called a terminating decimal terminating means which has end which stops which has a end so they are called as terminating decimals here i have a few examples to you if you observe 1.732 So the number of digits are the digits which are occurring in the decimal part has a end, has a end. So it is a terminating decimal. So one more if you observe, thirty nine point three six five. It also has a end. So these comes under, these comes under this terminating decimal, etc. Because we have so many numbers which terminates the decimal part. So, terminating decimals are nothing but the decimals whose decimal part will terminates after a digit or after a finite number of digits. Finite number of digits. Next one, non-terminating recurring or repeating. The recurring is nothing but the meaning of repeating. So, non-terminating repeating decimals. Because here, if you observe these decimals, the decimal part of these decimals. Will never stop. Means there is no end for the digit or a group of digits which are occurring in the decimal part of that decimal. But there is a repetition of a digit or a group of digits continuously in these type of decimals. So, example go for the examples. That means non-terminating repeating decimal is it never stops. First condition. That means there is no end in the decimal part. Second part, recurring, repeating means here a digit or a group of digits, two digits, three digits, four digits will continuously repeat without any breaking, without any end. So such type of decimals comes under the non-terminating, recurring or repeating decimals. For example, if you go here. One seventy two point three 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 and so on. So we can write it shortly as so short forms will write flat. So second one twenty three point six 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 and so on. Third one twelve point 
zero, four, seven, four, seven, four, seven, and so on. So few more examples if you observe. Thirty-three point seven three five seven three five seven three five and so on. So if you observe these numbers clearly, so there is no end in the decimal part. There is no end in the decimal part. That means here what is happening here is so this decimal number never terminates. It never has an end. It doesn't has an end. It never stops. Means so termination means stopping. There is no stop at all. Here the digit is repeating continuously. If you observe clearly, repetition is happening continuously and so on we wrote. So up to three to four decimals we have taken our five six decimals and still they are coming occurring, recurring. Occurring means continuously repeating. So here these type of decimals are called term non-terminating decimals. Non-terminating decimals. Clearly here they are non-terminating repeating decimals. Non-terminating repeating decimals. Because if you observe this clearly, for example, if you observe the first one, first one, if you observe 172.3333, that means here a digit 3 is repeating continuously. Repeating continuously. So it's called a non-terminating because as there is no end, first one non-terminating. Second one, a digit is repeating continuously. So repeat non-terminating repeating decimal. Non-terminating repeating decimal. For example, if you have the second one, here also six repeats continuously. If you come to this example, here 12.047474747. When the repetition starts, once the repetition starts, once the repetition starts. The digit or a group of digits should repeat continuously without any break. Without any break. Here, see here. 474747 continuously repeating. So it's also called as a non-terminating repeating decimal. Welcome to this one more example. 33.7357357357. Here this group 735. 735. 735. This part is repeating continuously. So, and there is no end at all. It's continuous. So, it's also called as non terminating repeating decimal. That means here already we discussed that these numbers we can write in the form of P by Q. And already these are in the form of P by Q. But what about these? Welcome to these terminating decimals and a non terminating repeating decimals these two different sets of numbers can also be written in the form of p by q means we can express these also in the form of p by q that means we can express these terminating and non terminating repeating decimals as fractions and that method how to convert that we'll discuss in next classes so this is about the rational numbers so rational numbers are nothing but the numbers which can be written in the form of p by q where p and q belongs to integers and q not equal to 0 and all these are the numbers which comes under this rational numbers so that means here all these are the parts of rational numbers that means all these are subsets of rational numbers and this set of rational numbers is represented by a letter Q by the letter Q that means Q represents already we have different symbols for numbers natural numbers we have N whole numbers W indices Z positive indices we have Z plus <coughs> negative indices we have Z minus in the same way non negative non positive we have different ways so like this in the same way the set of rational numbers as a symbol and that is represented by the letter Q. So clear, I think so. Next, let's come to the irrational numbers. Already we discussed that the numbers which cannot be written in the form of P by Q, that means which are not possible to express in the form of a fraction, they are called as irrational, that means not rational, which are possible to write in the form of P by Q they are 
rational which are not possible to write in the form of p by q they are irrational irrational means not rational numbers and what are the different sets of numbers we'll get here before that so these irrational numbers is represented by a letter q dash or sometimes with yes sometimes with yes so this q dash q dash is nothing but so this actually should not read as one it is called as dash so that means it's a not it represents not not q not q or sometimes with some other letter also will represent that is by yes so now let's go here what are the different numbers we'll get what are the numbers which are or how how the numbers will be how can we identify whether it's an rational or irrational so already easily we can identify the rational numbers next we'll come to here easily we can identify the irrational numbers also so the set of numbers what we we'll get here is first one non terminating non terminating non repeating decimal that means the non terminating non repeating decimals comes under this irrational numbers that means here so these type of decimals will never that means they never have a n in the decimal part and there is non repeating means there is no repetition of digits also no repetition of digits for example if you observe here so 1.732143172106827235 and so on that means if you observe this clearly no end at all so non terminating first thing so if you observe here here already we discussed clearly you will come to here repeating means the repetition should be a digit or a group of digits the repetition should be continuous the repetition should be continuous that means there should not be any break so i observe if you observe this here so not a digit not a group of digits are repeating continuously that means all are different means shuffling or shuffled 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 there is there is no repetition at all so already it's a non terminating and there is no repetition so non repeating non terminating non repeating decimals so these type of decimals cannot be expressed cannot be expressed as a fraction so these comes under these type of numbers numbers comes under this irrational numbers that means these numbers are not possible to write as a fraction second one next we have sirs so we will discuss that regarding these sirs in the next topics that is nth root of a number nth root of a number that means here if you observe this assume this number as a or nth root of a where a is equal to x power n yeah. that means here this number a which is under the root cannot be expressed as a power of n as the power of n then such numbers comes under this such comes under these sets that means for example if you take n as 2 square roots already you got i think you heard in 8th class square roots next you got cube roots and you know squares and cubes also so the square root of a non perfect square because clearly we mentioned that the number which is under the root it also has names and other parts we we'll discussed that later so roughly i'm saying a so as a cannot be expressed as the same powers of some other number then they comes under the sets and all the sets also irrational numbers along with this why come to here one more so you know very well about this you heard 
this symbol actually we call it as a pi it's a pi so pi also irrational number pi also irrational number actually how this pi will exist so if we consider a circle if you consider a circle the total length of the circle is called circumference and this is diameter this is diameter so when you divide the circumference of any circle with its diameter with its diameter you will get a value you will get a value which is which is a non terminating non repeating decimal that means any circle you consider whatever the size of the circle may be small one or bigger one whatever it is so when you divide the circumference of a circle with its diameter will get a number which is a non terminating non repeating decimal and this is same for all the circles this is same for all the circles so that we named that the number that is small which is a non terminating non repeating decimal that is which is obtained by dividing the circumference of a circle with its diameter with a cons with a symbol called pi actually it's a greek symbol generally we have the alphabet in telugu hindi english like that in greek also we have some letters so that one of the greek letter which is read as pi has been used instead of that non terminating non repeating decimal and we are calling it as pi so that's why this pi is an pi is an irrational number but for the sake of simplification for the sake of simplification so we are taking that means for calculation of the values in the case of circles and other objects that is sector segments and so on we are taking this pi value as 22 by 7 you know that so pi is equals to 22 by 7 or sometimes we we'll take as 3.14 approximate values approximate so why we are taking this here sir so for the sake of simplification we are taking the nearest we are taking the nearest rational number nearest rational number that means which is a non terminating repeating decimal so for the sake of simplification what we are doing so pi is an irrational number for the sake of simplification and calculations we are taking the nearest rational number nearest rational number whose value is equals to 22 by 7 whose value is equals to 22 by 7 so this is the nearest rational number to this irrational so now according to here here what we have to say here is so when we are discussing about this pi generally the pi is an irrational number pi is an irrational number but 22 by 7 is a rational number so pi is an irrational but the value which we are taking for the pi 22 by 7 is a rational number actually this 22 by 7 if you go on take it sir the value what we obtain here is 22 by 7 22 by 7 is equals to 3.142857 142857 can you see that means this total 142857 142857 142857 this group of digits are repeated continuously here so it's a non terminating repeating decimal whose value is very 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 nearest to the irrational number that is the value which is obtained by dividing the circumference of a circle with its diameter with its diameter so this value 3.142857 as we are repeating continuously shortly we are taking this value as 3.14 just 
just two place of decimals we are taking and sometimes we we'll use the value by as 3.14 also right i think it's very clear to you this is a difference between the rational and irrational numbers next we have a few terms so let's go for the terms see if you consider a non terminating repeating decimal non terminating repeating decimal so few examples are like first of all and let's know how to write in the shortest form we discussed here shortly we are taking as 3.14 roughly so let's consider numbers <coughs> 11.14 3 and so on 17.666 and so on 135.070707 and so on 3.142857 142857 and so on Hundred point three four six four six four six and so on. One twenty three point four five six seven 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 and so on. If you observe these numbers clearly, so all these are non-terminating repeating decimals. Non-terminating repeating decimals. If you have to suppose the example, so it's eleven point three 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 continuously. That means here the digit three is repeating continuously. So we can write this as shortly. So we can write this shortly as eleven point three bar. Just replace the bar, replacing bar on the digit or a group of digits which repeats continuously. Which repeats continuously. In second case, six is repeating continuously. We can write this as seventeen point six bar. So if you observe here, one thirty five point zero seven zero seven zero seven. That means here two digits are repeating continuously. So that zero seven, the bar is for zero and seven. So bar why we are writing is we are treating these digits which are repeating continuously as one group. So as we know that bar is also a type of bracket. Instead of drawing bracket, we are taking bar. So next one, this also one four two eight five seven one four two eight five seven. So three point one four two eight five seven bar. Next one come to here hundred point three four six four six four six. Only the four six are repeating. So in middle it started, but they are continuing. So this we can write as hundred point. Three, four, six bar. Bar is only for four and six because four and six are repeating continuously. Next, we'll come to here. So one twenty three point four five six. And here the seven repetition has been started from here. So that is from fourth place. So seven bar. So the bar is only for the digit which repeats continuously. Now by writing the short forms. So we have two terms here. We have to know period and periodicity. So period is nothing but a digit or a group of digits which are repeating continuously. A digit or a group of digits which are repeating continuously is called the period. A digit or Group of digits repeats continuously. Is called a period. That means, for example, if you observe here, three is the period, six is the period, zero seven is the period. As you know, in decimal part, you should not write, you should not read that digit or group of digits combined. Here. So zero seven. It is one four two eight five seven. Here four six. Here seven. These are the periods. Now what is the periodicity? Periodicity is nothing but the number of digits present in the 
period. So periodicity is nothing but number of digits. So they be in or number of digits in the period. is called its periodicity is called its periodicity with this help of this period and periodicity with help of this period and periodicity so we can convert these non terminating repeating decimals to a fraction that's the main use so let's come to this periodicity let's go for example here how many are repeating only one digit is repeating here only one digit is repeating here two digits are repeating here one two three four five six six are repeating here only two are repeating here only one is repeating that means the digit or a group of digits which are repeating continuously is called the period and the number of digits present in the period is called its periodicity is called its periodicity so in next class so we go how to convert how to express these terminating and non terminating repeating decimals to rational numbers that is in the form of p by q how can we write them as a fraction that we will discuss okay thank you